Do you remember Hurricane Matthew, the 500-year storm that devastated Virginia Beach over seven years ago? Windsor Woods, Princess Anne Plaza, and the Lakes neighborhoods took the brunt of it. Stay tuned to learn how a new project will bring greater resilience to these communities. Hi, I'm Tony Utterback, City Engineer for Virginia Beach. Today we're focusing on the Windsor Woods area and a new tide gate under construction here. The site is located off I-264, where you've likely seen the huge red crane. It's next to the skate park and Mount Trashmore. Still in the early phase of construction, the site is mostly rebar, concrete, and sheeting, but it's embraced by area residents. They live through the worst of Hurricane Matthew and they frequently experience flooding during far less intense storm events. Why, you ask? Several reasons. There are low elevations in the neighborhood, undersized pipes, high tides that steal storage capacity, and more frequent and stronger storms. Placing a new tide gate across the Eagle Creek will protect storage capacity often lost to high tides. The structure will span 60 feet across the Eagle Creek with four separate gate openings. Each gate measures 10 feet by five feet. The vast majority of the time, the gates will remain open, allowing for the normal ebb and flow of the tide. When significant rains, hurricanes, or nor'easters approach, the tide gate will close at low tide, again to preserve precious storage in Lake Windsor for stormwater runoff. Interim pumping will also lower the lake elevation after the tide gates are closed to further increase storage capacity. Tide gates not only stop tidal influence from downstream, they also stop upstream flow from being able to drain downstream. Thus the benefits of the interim pumps. During a rainstorm event, this pumping continues. This ensures the stormwater rainfall continues flowing from the lake to Thalia Creek, even with the tide gates closed. This ripple effect project is a welcome sight in Windsor Woods, and that's how it works.